<laughs> How's it going? I'm Charlie. I'm Jean. Uh, we're going to have ourselves a Jean day. Yay! Everybody <laughs> needs a Jean day. <laughs> we are going to review your favorite, the McCallum Classic Cuts. Yay! I got all dressed up for it. Fancy? What else is fancy? I'm not telling you which one's which. But what <laughs> this is. Uh, so this is Jean. This is your favorite uh, whiskey line. Yes, it is. This is McCallum Classic Cut. Comes out once a year. Once um, a year. Just now came to our market, so we're filming a review of it. But uh, this came out in October. That's a heavy pour. Do you want me to pour some back in? Nope. Okay. Uh, so this is their version, McCallum's version of the cast strength. They don't do a cast strength. Actually, we're hitting this pretty hard. We may need to slow down to save the bottle. 50 points. Three is the ABV 106 proof. G. Nice. Uh, we have done a McCallum shootout before. I'll leave links to that before. You can see which one she thought was best before you drink this one. Get on the nose there, Gmo Reed. You did give me a little bit heavy pour, didn't you? I'm fine pouring some back in. Yeah, you got I mean, a ton. Yeah, a little bit. Don't want to waste the good stuff. Bit. This is part of an annual edition series. Um, and we have the 17 through now the 23. So this just came out in October of 23. I do love the classic cuts. Although I, I think I saw that they were doing a 24. I thought they normally just do a seven bottle when it comes to like the well, they do the six normally, like the edition oh, series was six. only six. Yeah, that was one through six and done. We thought that they were going to be done with this at six, and they came out with this. We thought last year was going to be the last one. Now, you know, we're going forward. I appreciate your subscription to the channel. Thumbs up if you like it, thumbs down if you don't. But thanks for helping the channel grow. And leave it a comment. Appreciate that. I get fresh out of the oven, Ooh. peach crisp, like peaches. Mm. Like the cooked peaches and the, the topping too. So like, my mama makes this really nice peach crisp. Yes, she does. I don't know how the what the top of it is made of. If it's just brown sugar and butter, or, or if there's huh. oats in it, or I have no idea what that what that is at the top. It's oat looking. It does kind of look no like. No idea what goes on the top of a peach crisp. But that's what I'm smelling. Is this is peach heavy for me? Um, this is made from. Ex bourbon barrels and uh, sherry casks, and they kind of bury together. Um, I'm this is for me, milk, white chocolate, dark chocolate, bit of chocolate milk, white pepper, pears, ruby red grapefruit. Yeah, there's like a milk chocolate, like not one that you try to make at home. You're not like trying to get like that powdered chocolate and mix it in the milk. That's not how this is. The powdered chocolate just goes everywhere. This is store bought chocolate milk like done right yeah which is the best chocolate milk you can get they put the the deep rich amount of chocolate in there mm. have you ever bought a thing of chocolate milk at the store and then put your own chocolate into it no no why would you want to put more chocolate no. until the double up on my chocolate perfectly made chocolate milk it takes a while to dissolve i'll give it that but no i'm a hershey syrup kind of guy myself and then there's some some strawberries underneath here yo good call good call Yes, good call. Oh man, that's a nice nose. On the uncorking, the sherry barrel is more predominant for me. Uh, right now, the ex bourbon barrel is more predominant for me. I'm getting the caramel, I'm getting the, the barrel char. I'm just gonna live here in this nose. Well, we probably wanna live somewhere else other than the side of a nose. If y'all like, know how to make candles and the scented candles, mm. how you make a candle be a certain kind of scent. McKellen, make a candle, man. What are you man, doing? If you could put this as a candle. I'm having a go in. I'm gonna have a go in. Yeah, you have your go in. You sure. go in. Gene Day, Gene goes in first. Um, let's see here. So McKellen, Class, this is an edition series that started back in 2017. Is it any good? Let's find out. Gene is giving a face. <laughs> Dying. Okay, so when I think of McAllen's, any of McAllen's, I don't really think of heavy pepper. Me, I love pepper, so the more pepper you get, the better. This is a McAllen with some pepper on it. But the predominant note for me, I mean, it's like mm. a, it's like, it's not necessarily peaches, maybe a little bit more apricot. It's like a heavy mm. apricot. Mm -hmm. With some peppers on top, just married perfectly. This feels old. First thought was Glenmorangie 18. I'm getting that orange zest. It feels old. It's smooth. It's creamy, oily mouthfeel. Mm. It blends well. 
It starts out like that with that orange zest for me with, with a like a caramel drizzle, white pepper spread across the tongue, getting into the gums. Man, this is, and the vanilla is there. It's like a, it's like that French vanilla homemade mm. ice cream. And you're, you're, you're scooping that into this blender and you take a bunch of freshly cut up peaches and apricots <laughs> and you're putting that in there. Mm. And then you're gonna take some milk chocolate cause what the heck, you're gonna chomp that up and you're gonna throw that in there. And then you're gonna push a blend button and then you're gonna drink it. As one does. And you're gonna put some peppers on it too. Um, I had a point and I'm sitting there picturing you're just going to town make, I'm making a McAllen blizzard. Shut up, leave me alone. I'm wearing an apron, don't worry. <laughs> it's going everywhere. Wearing an apron. You don't wear aprons, I wear aprons. Well, well I said. Just, aprons are the man's best I added, friend. I added an apron because I don't want, I don't want yeah. the top of the blender to come off and get me. <laughs> I'm dressed up. You fancy, you right. fancy. Um, dressed up for the classic cut. Cause I'm classic. Classic Jean. Classy. Classic. I'm a classic. Pinkies girl. out. Classic. <laughs> oh man, Ooh. I put a lot of water in there. I hope I didn't put too much water in. <laughs> That'd be <laughs> fun. But you did, you've done that once before. It'd be funny if you did that again. I ruined it again. Yeah. Arr. Arr. Now they do say on this particular classic cut, they they encourage you to take it down to a 40 ABV. To release more and more notes. That's uh, on the website. That's on, uh, was it Masters of Malts? Also recommend that. Okay, with some water. I don't know how much water I put in. Probably too much. But this is now a watermelon, watermelon apricot. Again, you know what? Watermelon, uh, bringing out the oak, bringing out barrel char. The bourbon influence is really showing through the bourbon barrel. No, I think it's. I think it's the 19 that has a different color. All the rest of the, the, the line is pretty much the same color. <laughs> Ramped up my peppers. Oh my word, McAllen Classic Cut mm. with the peppers. Mm. This here is Mama's. This is the Pepper Bomb McAllen mm. Cast Drink Yummified. <laughs> Yummified. 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 Mm. Um. That was a yeah. long finish. Yeah. Those, the, those apricots sinking into my tongue still there. Mm -hmm. Apricot's a good word. Mm -hmm. uh, like an apricot crisp. I think you have me at that. French, definitely French vanilla versus vanilla bean. Car caramel's heavy in this one. There's caramel all over the place. Um, white pepper. Caramel. It's very well balanced. Mm -hmm. It drinks underneath the 50 ABV. Some 50s, like, this, this is cool, pretty, almost identical to Bonnet and Bond ABV. Uh, honey, some of those drink hot, this does not. It's really got a lot of honey in it. Blind, I'm thinking this is a 45, 46, definitely not a 50. Well, good point. So blind, because when I think of McAllen's, I usually think of a lot of the red berries. I get a lot more of the sherry and the cherry and more red berry cherry, yeah. uh, forward. Whereas this is more like the apricot peach pear forward. Yes, so Car caramel forward for me. If, if you were to put this in a lineup, and then say, hey. Which one robbed the bank? Pick out the McAllen Classic Cut. And I'll be like. Oh, uh, yeah. I don't know. 90, what'd you do, Gene? I also did a 90. Did you? Nice. I did. Um, yeah, if you put this in a lineup, like, hey, which one robbed the bank? Or which one's a McAllen? Can go yeah. Um, that's true. That's a good point. I would not necessarily. Yeah, I wouldn't get this as a classic cut. It's too bourbon influence for me to get that. Although, Delicious, though. If you go back and think about how the classic cuts are, I mean, they're one classic cut to the next. They're they're pretty. They're different. They're like the they are the seventeen to the the like last year's and the year before. I think they were more like red grapefruit and, yes, and oranges. Yes, twenty two definitely. Uh, now it's turned to apricot. So I like what you're doing. Keep it up. Love it. I believe that 2020 was my favorite. You switched to 22 as your favorite recently. Prior to that, it was 18, I believe. Yes. yes. Once 22 came out, you're like, 22 is my favorite. Hello. So, Jane, this, this costs money. This, these aren't money. free. Mm -mm. One of us paid something for it, and it was this one was not me. This one was you. So MSRP's for 158, I believe. 140 uh, pounds, 158 US dollars. Which I think is a bit much, but I got it for 140 on mm -hmm. an online whatnotter. Mm -hmm. And uh, 
a what not or I mean, not the actual website. No. When, when you go to buy a classic cut, I think you expect to spend yeah. right around in there. Um, if you can find something, a classic cut for, although that one year, I think we found one for like 80 bucks, but mm, we did. They're, they're around 130 to 160 these days. And in two years time, it'd be, you know. They do double in price every it's year. It's gonna get more expensive. So snag they one up now. Well, it's their cast strength and this is a series. Right. So you're gonna pay more for that. Plus it's a McCallum, you're gonna pay more for the name. Probably more for McCallum than any other brand. Any other distillery, you're gonna pay more. I think it's worth $140. What say you? I do too. I mean, okay. I love the peppers, so whatever. Well, you can get peppers in a lot. I think that this particular, I think, I, th I and like And the finish is long. I'm still, this yes, still, 100%. It's still there on my tongue. Long, long finish. <laughs> so, uh, I don't think we're gonna do a shootout this year for McCallum Classic no. Cup. Maybe wait at least one more year so we can add two to the, so we can go 17 to 24 at that time. Yeah. They usually release this in the uh, early fall, late, they release this in the fall and the autumn every year. So we have a wait to wait to the 24th. Ways to wait. Ways to wait. Anything else to add, Jean? Nothing else to add. Thanks for your subscription to the channel. I'm Charlie. I'm Jean, and I hope you are just as thirsty as we are.